All right, welcome back to EMT Made Easy. In this video, I am covering upper airway obstructions and lower airway obstructions. So what I'm really gonna go over is, for example, snoring, strider, what is it and where is it at? Is it an upper airway obstruction or is it a lower airway obstruction? If you want to actually know what they sound like individually, you can always, always YouTube it and figure that out. But for now, I'm just gonna cover what it is and where you can find it. So the division point between your upper airway and your lower airway is the larynx. So anything below the larynx is lower airway. And below your larynx, you have your trachea, so trachea. So your larynx is also known as the voice box. That's where your, your vocal cords are found. It's what lets you talk. All right, so we have snoring, strider, wheezing, ronchi, or crackles, and we have rails. So I'm gonna start from the top and go all the way down. All the way down. I try to put the actual location on the left hand side and the issue on the right hand side, but I couldn't do that with the alveoli, but hopefully it still helps you out. So if your tongue is flopped back and it's hitting the back, the pharynx part of your, of your upper airway, that's gonna produce snoring, all right? So that's an upper airway obstruction. Tongue flopped back, patient's unconscious, laying on their, on their back, that's gonna produce snoring, all right? Now, if you have a larynx issue, means usually it's gonna be swelling, uh, either trauma or, or some kind of infection, you're gonna have a high-pitched noise, a high-pitched whistling noise that's gonna come from the, from the upper airway. There's this thing called croup also, it's like a seal noise, and that's found with children, all right? But most adults will have a strider sound, it's a, a whistling sound, and that's in the larynx, AKA the voice box, all right? And this is all upper airway. That's pretty much it for upper airway, as far as that goes. Now, this is your trachea. Now we're in the lower airway, right? So you have your trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and your alveoli. All of that consists of your, your lower airway. So if you have wheezing, for example, wheezing, we're talking about a bronchial issue. So the little tiny tubes right before you actually get to the alveoli. If you have wheezing, it could be from an allergic reaction, asthma, a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways, what's going on is you have spasming of the muscles. There's a muscle within the inner lumen of each bronchi and bronchial, or actually it's a bronchi, and they're spasming. So the muscles are spasming or they're just constricted really, really hard, and that's causing that wheezing sound. So that's what's going on there. And this wheezing is a lower up, lower airway obstruction that's occurring in the bronchioles, the small little tubes, right before you get to the alveoli. All right, now, these are your bronchi, big, bron big tubes. So bronchioles are the small tubes, bronchi are the big tubes. If you have bronchi or crackles, usually it's caused from excessive mucus. You have way too much mucus that's building up inside here, and this, this uh, the, the bigger part of, of your lower airway, the bronchi, and that's causing that, that ronchi or crackling noise. So that's what's going on there, okay? And then finally, you have your alveoli, the very last part of your entire airway. This is where all the action happens, that gas exchange, um, blood gets to this part from the right side of your heart, and then it delivers the blood with O2 to the left side of your heart, right? But that doesn't involve this, so let's go ahead and skip that. Anyways, in your alveoli, you're gonna have what's called rails. Now, if you have rails, it's, used, it's caused from edema. Now, if you know what edema is, edema is just a buildup of blood or fluid in a certain location. That's what edema is. It's a, a pulling of some kind of fluid, and people get this usually from having heart failure. That, that blood is being backed up from the left side of the heart, and, it's, and the blood's just pulling there, and you get rails. So let's go ahead and just review real quick. Upper airway obstruction, two of them. You have snoring, strider, and croup for children, for little toddlers, all right? Snoring, you have a tongue issue. Strider or croup, you have a larynx, aka voice box issue. All right, below the larynx, you have your trachea, your trachea bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli. Now, if the, the bronchi, if it's bronchi or crackles, you have a bronchi issue, right? Too much mucus. If you have wheezing, it's a bronchioles issue, the lower little tube, right before you get to the alveoli. And you have a spasming or some kind of, it's a muscle issue inside the lumen itself. 
And if you have rails, it's an alveoli issue. Pretty much to keep it simple, it's a lot of fluid being backed up and it's just kind of pulling there and it's messing up with the patient's ability to uh, breathe adequately. Again, if you want to know what they actually sound like, go ahead and just YouTube it and you'll figure it out. I hope this helped you out, straight and simple. And if you have any comments or questions or you want me to break anything else down, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to get to it. All right, peace.